and they won't be around much longer. He's wanting to confront our adversaries in a way that the previous administration has never done. The Senate has just one week to bring a health care vote to the floor and get it passed. The reason it's not dead is because it's not finished. The bill hasn't been completed. It's harder and harder to make a case for keeping Obamacare. Politics and sports collide as President Trump is in a war of words with some of the biggest players in the NFL and NBA. Just kind of beneath, though, I think, a, a leader of a country to, to go that route. Um, it's not what leaders do. Tonight, I'm taking a knee for America. This is Trump met with Team USA as they prepared for the third annual Invictus Games. You have given so much for your country. You truly are our heroes. It never gets old. I love this country. We are oh, all American, old. including Griff Jenkins. You know, back on the couch today. I wonder if Clay Walker won't be taking the knee today. Ooh. No. Mm -mm. Probably not. We're going to talk about the Global Citizen Festival as well. They don't take the knee because they don't have an anthem because there is no such thing Which as a global citizen. Which we still don't know what that is. Which we have to get through the minds of millennials <laughs> who think they're global citizens, not really sure what that means. <laughs> anyway, it, it sticks in my craw. What oh, good Sunday morning, good morning, everybody. Guys. And it is a day of football, right? We That's all right. love it for that. We all look forward to going home, sitting on our couch, eating way too much food Which with our family and our friends and watching some great games. That's right. It, it's an honor to be sitting with you guys uh, again for the second day. Thanks for having me on the Curvy Couch, particularly on a day when... This debate between patriotism and activism is going to play out in every corner of the nation. Absolutely. And the president up early this morning, just minutes ago, doubling down and tweeting about this as well this morning. Not doubling down, tripling down. He said this, if NFL fans refuse to go to the games until players stop disrespecting our flag and country, you will see change take place fast. Fire or suspend. The president this morning coming out effectively calling for a fan boycott of the NFL, saying don't go to the games, don't watch it, uh, because when you do, you enable this kind of activity. Instead, stand for the anthem, and then uh, and then everything will be just fine. Well, this is in response, because we've already seen this play out. People protesting, people upset about the comments that the president made in Alabama on Friday night, calling on the heads of the NFL to fire players if they're going to kneel. So in response to that, you had uh, a former Congresswoman Donna Edwards from Maryland tweet this out says on Sunday, I hope every NFL player takes a knee in solidarity with Kaepernick against the white supremacist who who squats in our White House. Okay, of course, this is all premise on the fact that everyone says that Donald Trump is a racist, right? So that so if you if you have a white supremacist in the White House, then you have free reign to do whatever you want. Everyone should take a knee. This is what you see. This is a cultural battle right now. You're going to see it play out starting at one o'clock Eastern time on NFL gridiron fields where people either show up or don't show up, <laughs> kneel or don't kneel. Everyone's taking a knee. Already we're seeing it play out. Bruce Maxwell kneels near home plate uh, in Oakland at the Oakland A's game. And Stevie Wonder kneels on stage at your favorite global citizen festival. In fact, he took two knees. Take a look at this. Tonight, I'm taking a knee for America. But not just one knee. I'm taking both knees. He's taking both knees. And, of course, Griff, you showed that uh, the Oakland A's player, the first Major League Baseball player to kneel for the anthem. So it, it's infected the NFL and the NBA. Now we see it happen in Major League Baseball Yeah, that's the well. question is what's going to happen today because that was the response last night. Are we going to see more protests today? Are we going to see more people kneel? And you brought this up last hour. Where are the cameras going to go during some of these big football games today? They are they going to go to the American flag during the, the national anthem? Or are they going to go to the players that decide to kneel or to stand? And there will be a lot of them already. I believe it's 12 teams are uh, uh, putting out a statement in support. The, the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, calling the president's comments divisive. You know, let me just suggest this. The Raiders play the Redskins tonight at 8.30. It's a Sunday night game. It would be interesting if President Trump showed up on the sidelines at the Redskins game, put his hand over his heart, and stood for the national anthem. And maybe, maybe wearing a Redskins jersey, because he's from D.C. And That's a whole other controversy. It's a whole other deal. But look at those 12, t those 12 teams immediately putting out statements, calling the president's statement 
divisive. And I, I, not, not, these 12 teams that were there put out, put out statements like this, including the CEO of the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, one of those teams in the upper right hand there said this. He said, the callous and offensive comments made by the president.